Hello everyone, my name is Katie Moyer and I am going to be teaching a yoga intervals class at Fred Astaire Dance Studios in Madison, um, just off the Beltline. And I've had a lot of really great messages and questions of like, but why yoga intervals if I already go to a gym? Why yoga intervals if I've never worked out before? Why yoga intervals? What if I only know you from work or from outside of fitness? Like, why should I come? And in a good way, I think it's just people are trying to ask me, like, why am I passionate about yoga intervals? Why do I feel like it allows me to be my brightest, truest, highest expression in this world? And there's three reasons. One, it allows me to be a spark, a catalyst for other people to be their brightest, truest, fullest expression in this world, which is a gift. I truly believe that. If I'm being my brightest, truest, highest expression, that gives people permission to do the same. And so that's number one. Number two, it's because it's in a supportive environment like a Fred Astaire dance studio that if you haven't watched any of my journey with ballroom, there's no way that this class would be as successful if it wasn't anywhere else but this studio because of what this environment has done for me. It has challenged me. I have cried at that studio multiple times. I have also had moments of liberation. I've had the most frustrating, confusing moments at that studio. I've had really tough conversations in that studio. I have had to dance by myself in that studio. I have fallen down at that studio. I have never known how powerful I can be if I didn't go through all of that and have a place like that dance studio that regardless of how challenging it is, it always somehow makes me grow, right? There's that analogy that I roll my eyes at all the time about a diamond and you know, diamonds only become diamonds because they were this ugly piece of coal and then they were undergo so much pressure and that's what creates the diamond. But because I roll my eyes, it means that it's true. It means that I'm just annoyed that that, that is the case. So I don't know if yoga intervals is necessarily your cup of tea for a workout, but I will tell you that it will push you. It will maybe ask you to do new things. It will ask you to learn about yourself, to grow about yourself, maybe come right up against yourself and decide who you want to be because that studio has asked me to do that. But that's why this is such an environment that you want to be part of. I promise you, even if you're not um, a Fred Astaire dance student, don't worry. Like the magic of the studio will still carry over into this class. And then lastly, because it allows all of us to shine. I am nothing as an instructor if my students don't show up. But you as students, you don't get the class unless I show up. So it's both. We need each other. I can't do this class without you. You can't do this class without me. And I love that because in order to shine bright, we do need a symbiotic relationship. I have to give the best of myself and show up in the best energy that I have in that moment and be present with you. And all I ask is that you do the same because here's the deal. In this class, you will do a Tabata and you will push yourself in cardio and you will wonder, can I really do this? It might seem easy at first and then all of a sudden the second, the third, the fourth, you get to the seventh or eighth and you're like, I really don't know if I can do this. Well, that's why I'm there. I'm your spark, we're in a supportive environment and we're gonna shine together in the present moment. I don't care how hard you go in that 20 seconds of the Tabata, I care that you come right up against yourself and you find out that you are powerful, that you can push through something really hard because you can do that in other areas of your life then. What if we're in a warrior two and you feel really so much stress and tension in your lower back or your hips and you're like, I don't really wanna do this anymore and you're mad at me and you're saying not nice things in your head about me which is okay. I'm the instructor that totally thinks that giving in to your emotions is what you should do in a workout because it just means it's coming up for you to release them, but you just have to feel them. So let's say you're in warrior two and you're stressed. You're like, ah, like, I don't want to do this move. I, I, I hate this stretch. That's your body signal for you to breathe into that tension, to breathe into that tightness. Well, guess what? That's going to happen at work customer gives you feedback that you don't like your boss says you have to do something you don't want to do and you're like ah but if I can teach you how to breathe through that and realize you are more powerful than you thought now we're talking and what if we're in shavasana and we're relaxing and I'm telling you to just let it all go there's pretty music in the background the lights are off and you're like all of a sudden you're like this is weird now all of a sudden I'm having an anxiety attack I'm, I'm anxious because I'm doing nothing 
well, that happens to me all the time. I'll, I'll plan these days of nothing for rest and recovery. And in that day, I feel more anxious than I do on the days when I have a thousand things going on because I have a bad habit of thinking if, if I sit still and I do nothing, something bad's going to happen. But if I can figure out how to relax in Shavasana, if I can provide an environment, can I, can I be that spark for you to say, okay, it's Shavasana. Okay, I'm getting anxious again, but I'm just going to breathe, say thank you, let it go. If I can teach you those things in a yoga intervals class, where else can you take that, right? Where else can you find more ways to become present, to be your brightest, truest, fullest expression in this life because that's what this life is all about. So I know yoga intervals is yes, a workout class and you're gonna come and you're gonna burn calories and you're gonna shape and tone your muscles. We'll do strength too and we'll stretch and all of that. But I think why I get so passionate about this yoga intervals class that I teach now is Because it allows me, it reminds me to be the spark, to be that person that comes right up against herself in my own mind, my body, my spirit, and and have that moment of wondering if I can do it and then realizing, nope, I can't apply myself right now. Because I do it in a Tabata, because I do it in this strength class, because I do it in a yoga pose that's really tough for me. I find ways to come right up against myself and realize I am more powerful than I thought. And that's the gift of yoga intervals, not just for me, but if I do that, that gives you permission when you come to this class to do the same. And that I hope you take way farther than yoga intervals. Yes, I love the class and I want you to keep coming back. But if we are all living in our truest, highest, brightest expression, coming up against ourselves in different outside pressures and finding ways to like come back to the fact that, because we'll do this in yoga intervals, that it's all right here, right underneath my thumbs. It's in my heart. This is my light. I can breathe into this and you know what? This might really suck right now, but I can do this. This might really be awesome right now and I can do this. I might have an endorphin rush and feel like, gosh, I can conquer the world right now. But I also might have a moment during that workout where I'm like, I can't do this. Like they asked too much of me. This instructor, she's asking way too much of me. Why does she think I can do this? Because I know you can. And it doesn't mean it's going to be perfect. It doesn't mean that it won't come with bumps. It doesn't mean that it won't come with also like, I call it the slide, the bumps, right? And then the slide down of like, you hit the bump, you come up, but then you slide down and it's like, woo, got it now. Like it comes with all of that. Um, But the greatest gift we can give ourselves is trusting the fact that we have everything we need to be successful in this world, whatever that success looks like for you. But you won't find that out. You will not discover what your light is. You will not be able to be your truest, brightest, fullest expression of yourself if you don't challenge yourself, if you don't do something new, if you don't put yourself in a place that you can have a spark, you can be in a supportive environment to keep reminding yourself that you can shine through all of that no matter what happens. And so I hope to see you for the fall yoga intervals program at Fred Astaire, Madison West uh, with me. Message me any questions and uh, I'll see you there. Mwah.